Hey guys, today I'm here with my fiance, so I'm sure you guys have seen him. We've trained together on a couple of videos before. He is also a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo, and today he's gonna take you through how he does his back kick. Hey guys, so I'm the fiance, AKA my actual name is Luis. Um, I'm here to show you how to do a back kick. There's different ways to do a back kick. Um, it depends on styles, it depends on abilities. Um, a lot of the people you see throw a very traditional back kick. Um, they come up, they're here, they get the hips turning, they look at the target, and they hit. That's a back kick. To me, that doesn't have much power. It's a very traditional way of throwing it. Um, a lot of people that train competition do it that way. It looks a lot prettier, but there's not as much power. Now, the way I like to do it is adding a little bit more hip rotation and less shoulder rotation. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm here, instead of going turning, I turn my shoulders where I lock them here, and then I kick straight back to generate that power into the Wave Master. Now, both ways are effective. One is just preferred over the other. Um, what I want to do is I want to break down both of them. Um, I learned both of them, so I want to see which ones you guys think is stronger, which one you guys think is more appropriate for different situations. So first one, the spinning side kick. I like to call it that. So when I'm here, I'm trying to get my hip to line up with the bag. Once the bag, once I'm lined up with the bag, let's say you're the bag, I turn, I lock my eyes on it. Once I see the target, my hip opens up while my hands are locked in. That prevents me from using a lot of my hip, but what it does give me, it does give me a lot of room to aim. It gives me a lot of room to find my target. Once I find it, boom, clean side kick. Because a side kick has a very uh, power from the hip. So you really are relying not much of the spin, but more on your side kick. So it looks here, I turn, boom, wow, and then I turn it over. Very powerful as well. The only difference with that one is I, I feel like I'm more open. I feel like if I miss that kick, boom, the body is open for a kick of the back to go. Ah, tornado kick to the stomach. And at that point, well, there's no point in sparring if I can't stand up at that point. But for me, I like to prefer controlling my shoulder, which allows me to kick and bring it back to a position where if I need to, I can reshuffle, I can see what they're doing and be able to counter. So let me break that one down for you guys. So I'm here, I turn. Normally, I turn all the way, but this time, I want to turn, barely look over my shoulder. Kind of like if I, I see it, but I don't see it. And once I release my hip, everything turns besides my shoulder. I kick and I turn my shoulder away. Now, some people are like, well, you're sending, you're splitting your energy. Half of it's going this way, half of it's going this way. Very true. Think about a rubber band. Have you ever been hit by a rubber band? Pulling it back, that hurts a lot. Same thing, what's happening with your shoulder. I'm here, I'm pulling it back, and then I'm releasing it. Ah! Get that kick to follow through. Now, at first, it might look like this. That's fine. It's gonna happen. But eventually, once you're able to control your upper body, turn your hips, find your target, and then release it with that side kick, boom! All that power and sparring is gonna look, first off, it's gonna scare the person in front of you, because if you miss that, they're gonna see it go right past their stomach, and they're like, oh, I'm glad that didn't hit me. But if you end up hitting it, you're here, you boom, 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 slide back, boom! Ah! Counter that? There's no way they're standing up from that. Hey guys, so that was my back kick. I know some of you guys might have a different version of the back kick. If you do, please comment or share a video of it so then I can learn. I'm an instructor myself, so I... That's my passion. I, I like learning from different arts, putting it together, and then when I teach a student, I like teaching them the easiest, the most fastest, and the most effective way. Hey guys, if you guys like this tutorial, please get a thumbs up. And in the comment box, let me know what other kick you guys want me to break down. I love breaking down kicks. Um, so if you guys have a kick in mind that you guys are struggling with, let me know. I'll try my best to break it down. Thank you.